Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for you guys today, we are gonna be just doing a full face of makeup that I forgot I bought. You know you have an issue with buying too much stuff when you forget some of the things that you bought. So, in an effort to help me remember things that I've purchased and in an effort to help me personally cut down on my spending, I'm just going to be doing this video because I don't need to go buy more stuff if I've forgotten some of the things that I have. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is primer. And for primer, I realized that I purchased this, used it twice, and then completely forgot about it. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with niacinamide in it. So it's pink instead of the green one. So we're just gonna use this. And it's not even, I forgot about it because it's a bad product. I forgot about it because I've kind of quit using primers for the most part except for like pore blurring ones just because I'm finding out my skin is getting a little bit more oily as I get older um versus like the dry that it used to be but this is like a really You see that it's a really sticky primer so it's really really good for all day wear and everything so there's that the foundation i forgot about is this all may skin perfecting comfort matte foundation i got this on clearance i remember when i bought it i got it on clearance um at rite aid because they were taking the brand out of the store so I just, I got it on sale and I was like, oh, you know, I'll do a full face of drugstore. And then I forgot I had it. I never made a full face of drugstore makeup, nothing. This does not have a pump on it. So I'm just gonna pour yay much on my hand. But I just, I forgot I had it for those reasons. So there's that. And for a brush, I'm just gonna be using my Laura Lee Los Angeles brush. Does anybody know, does she ever restock her brushes? Because her brushes are my favorite brushes other than like my Vive and ColourPop ones. And I'm just, I'm half tempted just to get only the Laura Lee brushes. I don't think that this foundation has been discontinued. I think they just took it out of right aid. So for that reason, we're going to discuss it. It does offer a really good medium-ish coverage because you can still see like my blemishes and stuff on it, but you it took away all of the redness. Like, do you see the difference about how red this part of my face is compared to this part? It completely got rid of the redness. That being said, it does seem like you have to use a little bit more than what I normally do. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to the back of my hand. And I just kind of stipple the brush into the product on the back of my hand so that it gets pretty evenly coated on the brush. And then it doesn't make like a streaky mess on my face. So there's that. And then for concealer, we have, this one's also from Almay. This is the Almay Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. And it's a stick concealer. I do not use stick concealers very often, but this is what it looks like. This is in the shade 120 Light and the foundation was in the shade
doesn't say, or 100 cool ivory, excuse me. So we're just gonna take this and do like that. This isn't going to be a brightening concealer on me. I would have gotten one shade lighter except it was gone and I wasn't going online to try and find it. Be right there. I'm just trying to kind of cut down on the redness that remains on my face. So we'll do that and then we might just use my finger to do this. Just because your finger is going to kind of help warm up the product a little bit. is a nice texture it does blend out really easily with your finger um i will say maybe be a little bit careful with it just because it is lifting a little bit of the foundation underneath of it not a lot but it is lifting so yeah you can see kind of right where it lifted it from underneath my eye so with that being said I'm just going to go in with my elf concealer I don't want to keep messing with it like that yep okay so then for powder oddly enough I forgot I bought the Fenty powder just because I haven't used, I don't use loose powder too, too often anymore. I should because my skin is getting oilier, but I honestly just forgot that I bought a loose powder. So I'm going to take my Almar brush and I'm going to kind of just tap off the excess a little bit. and take this under my eye. Just underneath my eye to make sure the concealer doesn't crease any more than what it normally would. And down my nose, like that. So now my under eye is set. And then four. Did I forget a cream? I don't think I've ever forgotten about a cream bronzer. I don't have that many. Okay, well for cream bronzer then, we're gonna use the Fenty cream one because it's the one that I brought with me. I'm not at my house today. Um, I'm cat sitting for somebody. So I'm just going to take my Real Techniques brush and the Fenty Cream Bronzer and just... Just blend. 
that in. Let me do a little bit down my nose. Like that. And then do a smidgen bit on my forehead. I'm just going to take my foundation brush and kind of go over this side of the cream bronzer just because it was a little bit intense. Just like that. And then I'm just going to set my entire face with powder now. So, did my eyebrows too. For eyeshadow... I have the ColourPop That's Taupe palette, and I, I literally forgot I had this. I don't go for cool tones very often. If you guys know me, I am a warm, brown-eyed, brown, smoky-eye type girl. But I'm just going to do a quick look with this, so hopefully this part will be sped up. But yeah, we're just going to use probably this shade... This shade, this shade, and then that one, I think. We'll see. bronzer and highlight the thing that I, I forgot I had this honestly is this ColourPop just a flush cheek palette it comes with the so healthy highlighter feisty much bronzer just cheeky and sassy pants blushes so this is a highlighter bronzer let's see highlighter bronzer and two blushes and this is a super shock highlighter which is really weird that I forgot I had because I love this formula of the, the Super Shock highlighters. I don't like the ones that come in like the little, like this type packaging. I hate them. This is an eyeshadow, it's not a highlighter. 
but I hate that type of a um, highlighter from ColourPop, but I really like the ones that come in like the pans. So I'm just gonna go into the bronzer and just bronze. And this is like a really light bronzer. It's very sheer. And then the blush, I'm going to mix them together on the brush. I think that's like my favorite way to use blush palettes anymore is I honestly, I do mix most of them together. And then just this, I have a mirror. It's a really pretty color. Oh shit, that fell out. This is just very dusty too. Like it's everywhere. I think that might've been part of the reason why I quit using it was because they're they're very dusty and you can get, you know, powder products that aren't that dusty that do the exact same thing for a very similar price. And then we're just gonna take a brush and we're gonna go into the highlighter bit. See it? This is pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Drop that back in. Then for the lips. <sighs> what to do for lips? You might just use. I'm just going to use this one from the Laura Lee and uh, Manny MUA collab between their brands um, in the shade Marna. I don't have a lip liner, but there's that. And then we can use this Fenty Cream Gloss in the shade. I'm not actually sure of the shade, but it's on there somewhere. It's just too small for me to see. And then we'll do a little bit of this. Just like that, but I like this look. I do vaguely remember why I, s mm, no, actually. Some of these products, like that cheek palette from ColourPop, I remember why I stopped using them. Some of these, like the eyeshadow palette, it's just cause it's not my thing very often. I don't have a whole lot of cool tone palettes. But the reason I got this one is because it's just cool tone neutrals. Like, I do remember that. The powder I quit using because I have 
I had dry skin, but I think I'm probably going to start incorporating that more. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little bit more highlighter. This one is Late Night Coasting from Give Me Glow. And I forgot about this. You can see I've used it quite a bit, actually, but I legit just forgot I had it. And Give Me Glow's highlights are outrageous. So we're gonna look a little bit like the Tin Man, but I honestly love their highlighters. Okay, but anyway, this is my full-ish face of makeup that I forgot I bought. If you guys like these videos, please subscribe. If you don't like them, let me know what you wanna see next. If you do like them, let me know what you wanna see next. Um, anyway, with that being said, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.